Here's another problem where I'm adding rational expressions. All right, here's a plus. Here's my two rational expressions, okay? They are just big fractions. And I know that when I add rational expressions, I need a common denominator. Now, these two denominators are not exactly the same, are they? Okay, it's under the section of like denominators, but they're not exactly the same. What they really are is they are similar. So they both have a 3x, and they both have a 1, but they're not exactly the same. And I'm going to show you what we do in that case. So we are going to rewrite this one like it is. And for this second rational expression, I need to get the x term first. Okay, It's not in the right order. So this right here is not in the right order. This one is. There's my x, there's my number, but this one is not because the x term has to come first. So we're going to write the minus 3x first, and then right here, that's a plus 1. It, it doesn't have a minus in front of it, does it? So this is going to be negative 3x plus 1. Okay, and it's all over 4x, under 4x minus 3. That goes on top. All right, now, let's look at my denominators again. Are they exactly the same? No, they're not. So I notice that this denominator right here begins with a negative. My leading coefficient is negative, and I, I never want that. So what I have to do is I have to divide out a negative 1. Okay, and I'm going to divide a negative 1 out of both of these. It's going to come out in the front like this, and that's the next step. So I have x plus 9 over 3x minus 1 plus 4x minus 3. And then here, I'm going to take out the negative 1. I divide it out of both. And I will be left with a 3x. Right? It turns this negative into a positive. When I divide out by a negative, I change the sign. And I'm dividing this by a negative. A positive divided by a negative is a negative. And now when I look at my denominators, they almost look the same. But I have this negative 1 right here, which I'm going to get rid of. Now, remember that when you have fractions, if it's a negative 2 over 3, it's the same thing as a 2 over negative 3. Okay, the negative part could be in the numerator or it could be in the denominator, and they are both equivalent. So... What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this negative 1, and I'm going to bring it up into the numerator. So let's see what that looks like. x plus 9 over 3x minus 1 plus... Here's my 4x minus 3, and the negative 1 has to go out in the front, okay? I can't, this negative 1 does not just attach to the 4x, but it's attaching to the minus 3 also. All right, it's, it's going to be the whole numerator that is negative, that gets the negative 1. All right, so my denominator now is 3x minus 1 without the negative. Now I'm happy because I have a common denominator. Okay, one step before we move forward. Let's change the signs. Let's go ahead and distribute this negative 1 so that it hits both of these terms. All right, so my fraction here is x plus 9 over 3x minus 1 plus... Now, this was a 4x, but now it's negative 1 times 4x, so I'm going to have minus 4x. This was a minus 3, but now it's negative 1 times a minus 3. Negative times a minus, or a negative times a negative is a plus. Okay, I'm ready to put them together. All is one fraction, all over my common denominator of 3x minus 1. And now I'm going to have x plus 9 plus a negative 4x. Well, I'm just going to write that as a minus 4x, plus a negative is a minus. And then I have plus a positive 3, which is plus 3. We will combine our like terms in the numerator. 
So let's see, I have 1x minus 4x. Well, that gives me negative 3x. And then I have plus 9 plus 3. Well, that's plus 12. All right, looking pretty good. Now, I do need to make sure that it's factored completely because I'm always looking to reduce. I'm always looking to cancel out if I can. My denominator looks good, 3x minus 1. That's factored completely. Look at the numerator. Well, there's a greatest common factor there, right? What goes into 3x also goes into 12, and the answer is 3. Now, let me remind you that it has a negative in front, so I want to divide out a negative 3. I'm going to divide out a negative 3. I will be left with x minus 4 over 3x minus 1. Okay, you always want to leave your answer factored because you're looking for something like this to cancel with something like this. But that in this case, nothing cancels and you are done.